We just opened up a brand new record store and this is my opinion of it. So we opened up. Our other store was a lot different. I really like the way this one looks though. But in my opinion, it looks more professional than how it did before. There's not as many paintings on the wall, but there is a John Lennon painting. And it's really pretty, but it's not as unique as it was. I really like it though, and I think it's really pretty. Did you ever think maybe we're just not done decorating yet? Oh yeah, of course, but I think that more can be done. It'll be even cooler. And I know it's not done yet, but it's getting there. <laughs> to be fair, this is the first day we were officially opened. That is true. It, it was an awesome day. There was a lot of people. And it was a soft opening. It was a soft not opening. Not the grand opening. Yeah. There's a ton of people. Did we have some problems today? Of course. So I did the very first sale. Of course, they play, wanted to pay in a credit card. And then our pin pad broke. And my mother was on the phone for two hours, and she didn't really get anywhere. <laughs> but we're still able to take credit cards. Yes, we are. We just have to swipe them differently. Mm-hmm. But, yeah. Would you like to show them stuff that you would like in the record store? Yes. And you're eventually going to... Buy. <laughs> eventually. Right. I found some pretty awesome stuff today. Because in another video that we did today, we did an unboxing. And in the unboxing video... I found a bunch of stuff that I didn't know that we ordered that I'm really looking forward to buying eventually. How much stuff could we possibly have ordered? <laughs> and we put a lot of it away. This is all brand new sealed vinyl records. And they're awesome. Okay. Okay. Now you got some stuff? Yes, I do. Which side do you like the best? You want that side? <laughs> it's oh. my side. All right. I got the Beastie Boys Hello Nasty. I'm a huge Beastie Boys fan. I love the Beastie Boys. The whole License to Ill album, I can rap completely while it's playing. Doesn't that one have Interstellar Galactic something on it? This one, yeah. Okay. That's the that's the best song it's on that a, it's album. It's such a good song, I agree. And the music video for it's awesome, too. Same with Sabotage. It's trippy. It's trippy. Yes. That's a great album. And I have Motley Crue, Dr. Feel Good. I'm a big Motley Crue fan. This one, my favorite albums. Okay. So that's why it's in here. All Which one's on it? Turn it around. I am curious. Is Dr. Feelgood on there? Of course. Oh, it's named yeah. Dr. Feelgood. <laughs> so, all right. Kickstart My Heart's a great song, yes, too. It is. And I have Fleetwood Mac rumors because I am named after a song by Fleetwood Mac, Brianna, but it's Rihanna. Okay. And a lot of people spell it wrong, and a lot of people pronounce it wrong, but it is Rihanna, not Rihanna. It's Rihanna like banana, not Rihanna from Savannah. You're from Savannah? No, it's Rihanna. Okay, just check. Rihanna banana. <laughs> and I have a My Chemical Romance, the Black Prey picture disc, and I want this so bad. I got bad news for you. Which is? The Black Parade is dead. dead. I know. I watched when they played in Mexico on YouTube a few years ago. I watched it. It was such a good show. There was so much energy, and it was just an amazing show. Do you know with his new shows, his upcoming shows, is he playing anything from the Black Parade? I would assume so. I'd assume that they play a lot of their hits and a lot of their personal favorites that they play. Maybe they're just playing Danger Days throughout. <laughs> That's, I would that's have no her favorite album. I would have no complaints. It was a good album. It was a lot different than what they actually sounded like with their previous albums. But I still think it sounded really good. It was more happy. All I got is one thing to say about My Chemical Romance. Give me blood. Blood. blood give gallons, me gallons of, of the stuff. stuff. I really want to see them live. But tickets are pretty expensive. So I have to convince some people to buy me tickets for my birthday or something. What? <laughs> Who could you possibly be talking about? <laughs> And I have Ice Nine Kills, and they're metal. I think that they're really good. I personally really like this album, and they have another one that I really like. So I'm unfamiliar. I, I don't yeah, know them at all. It's harder, but I like it. Is it like Beartooth? Similar, yes. Okay. Okay, it's like it's the not... aggressive album for Beartooth, because yeah. I heard the other ones got soft. They did. The new one that came out recently, not a fan. Same with Disease, not a fan. Okay. Okay, but aggressive from Beartooth is Aggressive is really awesome. good. Beastie Boys, this is their gold hits, so greatest hits. Guaranteed to put the nuts in your fruitcake this holiday season. <laughs> you gotta appreciate them. I know. I love them. They're seriously one of my favorite groups of all time. Okay. And another. Wow. 
Okay. <laughs> and I have Panic at the Disco pretty odd. This is my personal favorite Panic at the Disco album. I know you are not a fan. I am not a fan of this album. There are other albums from them that I'm I can not, get down with. I am not a fan of their newer album. That, Mania? Um, Wicked. Uh, Pray for the Wicked. Oh, Pray for the like Wicked. That. That's right. Yeah. But not a fan at all. If you want way too pop for my taste, I they have one song that constantly plays on the radio. Not a fan. Okay. My Kim Romance, this is their greatest hits. 19 songs. Yeah. That's a lot of songs. Okay. It's my Chemical Poop Pants. Yes. Gotta love them. CCR. Really? CCR? I love them. Okay. I think they're really good. When I think of CCR, I think of camping. Yeah. Um, I was in a modern history class this year, and whenever I hear Fortunate Sons... I usually think back to when we learned about Vietnam. <laughs> okay. And that was my favorite class I had this year. I became a huge fan of history because of my current history teacher. Isn't it a protest song? Yeah, it's a, it's a Vietnam protest song. Okay. It's what really good. Blink-182. <laughs> okay. Not, I'm not a major fan of this album. I think it's a really good album, though, but it's not their best. What's your favorite song on there? Let's turn it over and see what's on there. Let me see if I recognize any of them. Dumpweed's really good. I really like that one. Adam's song's also good. What? Aliens exist. I already love this album. <laughs> I'm so going to have to listen to it. One of the members, I forget which one at the moment. I used to be really big in them. I used to know a lot of facts. But he was like majorly in the Alien song. Like pretty much every album there is at least one song about aliens. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. And Blink-182. This was my favorite album to listen to when I was 13. I would listen to this every day and every night constantly. I'd make my grandparents play this in the car, and it was just my favorite. <laughs> you had your grandparents play this in yes, the car. Yes, yes. Whenever I'd go with them. What did What did Grammy and Poppy think of it? They liked it. Yeah. They thought it was different. But I also used to play different. Three Days Grace, and Poppy was like, "What are you listening to?" <laughs> yeah. Well, there you go. Twenty One Pilots. Oh, yes, you must sir. be feeling stressed out. Always got mm. got keep those grades up in school. <laughs> yeah. Yes, you do. <laughs> Okay, I got the disco. I think this is also a really good album. I like this album. Yeah, it has a bunch of their great songs on them. No, I don't like a lot from them. Don't get me wrong. Yeah, but their stuff's different. I also am a huge fan of how long their titles of their songs are. I know a lot of people aren't, but I think it's something that's different about them is that their titles for their songs are super long. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Okay. Bon Jovi, Slippery When Wet. When I was 12 and 13, I did a whole project on them in my computer class. We had to do a PowerPoint presentation on a band we liked and a subject we liked. I did it on Bon Jovi. Well, the problem is, is this store is no longer located in New Jersey. Yeah, we're not in PA. <laughs> yes, yes. We're in the Palmer Park Mall. Of Monsters and Men. The song Lil Tox is on there, and I love that song. I am unfamiliar with this album, but we've been selling this record like crazy. I know. It's because it's their best album. It's so good. I highly recommend it. Okay. Lil Tox is definitely their best song. Hmm. Five Finger Death Punch. This brings me back to when I used to hang out with a couple of my friends, and um, Wrong Side of Heaven and Jackal and Hyde are my favorite songs by them. Steel Panther, one of my close friends got me into them. They're more like silly, but they're really good. Some serious hard rock there. Yeah, they're really good. I love them. Okay, I like Steel Panther. Pierce the Veil. This is like my album when I was emo, when I was 13 and 14. I still listen to them a lot. Now you're into hearts. I like heart. Hearts a good band. No, no, now you're into hearts. Yeah, I know. According to your face. Mm. Gotta keep my makeup interesting. Can't feel like everyone else. That's right. That's yeah. right. Switch it up. So. The original. Yes. Oh, and that one's also limited edition. I thought that was really cool. Green Day, American Idiot. You got me into this, which eventually got me into like more of like pop punk and some punk. This is their best album. Yeah, I agree. But American Idiot would come on, and I love that song. But you did not like Jesus of Suburbia. I finally listened to the whole song. Is it like, September on this one too? And yeah, yeah. But it's so good. And you didn't like that song or Jesus of Suburbia because it was so long. Uh-huh. Yeah. That it's such a good song. And I watched the music video and it's a great song. I, I can't stand I can't stand their album, Dookie. I think it's good. I I, I think I, it's too 
plain though. I grew up with it. Yeah. A hundred percent. It was played out. Every single girl listened to it. Yeah. Like I love Green Day. They are still one of my favorite bands. I would love to see them live one day, but their but music's their, changed so much now. But their MTV Live at uh, Woodstock. Yeah. With the mud fight yeah. is the most epic video by I Green Day. I watched that. That's something I think is amazing about them. It's the best set. Yeah. Ever. It's great. Keep flying. Whoa, local band. I know. I love them. I listen to them pretty much every day. Same with they have um, one of the members, Charlie Bruno. I listen to his music every day, constantly. He has a new band, Floor Space, that I highly recommend. They're amazing. Okay. I seen them live too. One of the best shows I've ever seen. They actually sound like, same with Keep Flying, how they sound live on the record. And it's awesome. And they so actually if seem to care. You gotta check them out. Yeah. I've keep, seen them. I've seen them all live. And it's something I really want to in the video that we did. I freaked out when I seen this. Yeah, we just we just finished doing a 35 minute unboxing video. Yeah. I highly doubt anybody's gonna watch 35 minutes. No, but you re you really should. There's a lot of stuff. There is. And you should totally watch the ending. Yes. If not, <laughs> yes. You better watch the ending of that 35 minute video we just put on our yeah, store channel. I really want this. This is something I really want. Now, what about this one? All right. This is Green Day's new album. I listened to a couple songs off of it. Wasn't a huge fan. It's different. It's definitely different. I haven't heard a single thing off of it. But, I'm going to take home a CD tonight and I'm going to listen to it in my car. But one of my friends, he listened to it. And he told me about it because I didn't even realize that it came out. I thought it, I didn't think it was going to come out to March. I didn't realize that it already came out. That's right. So he had me listen to a couple songs. Wasn't a huge fan. It's definitely different than how they used to sound. Okay. But it's all right. It's different. But music's changing. But at least it's not the other rap stuff like it is currently. Because I'm not really a fan of it. But it's, what? it's all right. You don't like Post Malone? I love Post Malone. The face tattoos, man. He has, I think, one song. I think it's called Sunflower or something. Listen, like. I don't even like his songs. You know what I actually like about Post Malone? He's different. <laughs> yes. Yeah. He did a video in a record store and he pretended. I know. Yeah. I know. And I thought it was fantastic. He pretended he worked in a record store. and he, I know. And, and people didn't recognize him, so it was really funny. It was, because how, how aren't you going to question the tattoos on someone's face? Whenever I, see I, like I don't that, question people with tattoos on their well, face. No, but it's different. And the worst they have on his face is make you want to question it. No. But that's my opinion, but I'm also younger. Mm. So. Yeah, like like they make you want to question it, you know, when they got tattoos on their face, you know. Nothing beats like when for the first time I painted my face differently. I did black circles around my eyes, like big, with the dots, because you showed me old Woodstock pictures. I was like, oh, I can do this. I had to start the um, revolution of me doing my face differently. That's right. So I had to start copying covers and doing different things. Because right. I personally enjoy doing this. This took me about an hour. Normally it takes me a short amount of time. But I kept messing up. And it just took me a really long time. But I love doing it. It's amazing. I eventually want to start doing videos of me painting my face. And this is the new place you work, huh? Yeah, it's awesome. I honestly love where I work. I think it's awesome. I'm, well, I think I'm one of the very few people as a kid who actually enjoys working where I work. You're not a kid no more. I know. I'm young. But I'm at the age where people begin the work. Okay. So I actually really like where I work. I'm very thankful that I work here. Wow. I know. But I On that note, I better go. <laughs> <laughs> Sheesh. <laughs> now what are they going to do? They are going to push the like button and they're going to subscribe, 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 subscribe. Ring that bell, ding, ding, ding. Because I do a video like this every once in a while and I'll see you next time. Every once in a while? Every once in a while. Aliens. I can't keep it consistent. I've tried. <laughs> All right. All right.